And then wipe it down, how it molds. Around. See how realistic that's becoming now? You can see his skin through there. Right now the hair is too long. But watch when you cut it. See how long these hairs are here? We don't need all that hair. Treat it like it's his own hair and on out of his head. If this was his own hair, his eye would cut it. with a straight chair, <clears throat> shortening the hair down to the length that you want it, basically, and then use the tapering chair on the ends of the hair. Makes the difference. See that? This is a cutting technique that most <clears throat> barbers don't know how to do. Do you see how that blends in? And it's not even the right size, it's too big. But, if you know how to cut it, you can blend that hair in and create an artificial neckline. Like for chemotherapy, alopecia people, they don't have any hair. I could make this piece look just like this in chemotherapy, alopecia people, and they don't even need any hair down there. The piece is, is there. You see this? piece is too big, it should end right there. I can cut it there and cut it in again and it even bring in better. But by leaving it longer, like chemotherapy, alopecia people who don't have any hair through here, you extend that down around the ears, the nape of the neck, that's like a glove. I can create a neckline just like that. Okay, now that's with 
the streets here. That's the majority of the length. <clears throat> it's the tapering here. One out of sixteen here is the really mean tool to use. And watch what it will do to the ends of the hair. The ends are blunt cut. By using this tool, I'm working on the ends of the hair, just on the ends. And it goes straight back. And then I go another path, same way. Even the hair on the top. Take the ends of the hair. By doing that, any direction you comb the hair, whether it's down, this way, that way, or that way, the hair will blend. It meshes together like this. We need to go back. Forward. This way and that way. Or the wind blows it and it goes everything. That is the way natural hair would lay. And um, you are just styling it the way you want, whatever you feel comfortable. There is no right way, one way, there's many ways. And when you wear a hairpiece, <clears throat> it's not how much hair you have, it's the amount of hair that you have that makes it look natural. And it's thinner is better, it's better than too thick. Too thick is abnormal. Why would you want more hair now than you do when you're 18? Less is better, more natural looking. Doesn't draw attention to it. You can tell people you're wearing an earpiece and they'll say, no. Nah. It was very thin. Okay, now here's the razor cutting part. Here's the way we use this. See how close the hairpiece comes to his own color? This is called razor cutting the way we did it in the 60s. So that can blend into his own hair on the bottom. Now, with the vent brush, look at the different things you can do with this piece. If you didn't do nothing more than that, and then go like this, you see that? wave pattern that comes in there. It looks like he come out of the shower, towel dried his hair, and went like this. It's a simple, easy to take care of. See? And this piece is not made for him, but you see how that blends in? If it's cut right, it'll fall right. And all you gotta do is take his hands and go a little bit like this. Kind of play with it. His hair doesn't do one thing, hair does many things. All you gotta do is keep it loose, irregular. 
unstyled looking. Nobody could tell you wearing a piece thing. Because it's natural. It's when they look too neat, too perfect, too styled. Yeah. It's gonna look like a hairpiece. Now he could walk out just like that. Let the wind blow it around. And, and five minutes later, maybe take the brush and go like this. And change his look. Or he may want to wet it down. And then take the vent brush and just go. Maybe a pompadour. Go straight back. And then loosen the front up. Just toss it. Loose and irregular. Unstyled look. This one was made with a crown going this way and left to right style. So we're going along with what the hair wants to do. That's the way it's ventilated in. If you go along with it, see how natural it is? Looseness and irregularity.